Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is Janeline Palma, your Certified Scrum Master. In this video, I will give you tips on how to pass the PSM1 exam. So PSM meaning Professional Scrum Master. So let's start! Tips for passing PSM1 exam. So this is for all the people who wants to be certified. So first, let's talk about the requirements to become a PSM. So what do you think? Is there any requirements to become a PSM? Officially, there is no specific requirement. Everyone is a potential candidate to become a professional Scrum Master. So even you are a developer, QA, UIUX, you can change your career and become a certified Scrum Master. So actually, my previous role is a software QA engineer. Then I just shift to a Scrum Master role. So what do you think is the importance of a PSM certificate? So getting a PSM certificate demonstrates the capacity to know, understand, and apply Scrum in real-world situations. So it proves your ability to understand the field and helps in exchanging yourself to your colleagues and top management. So through this certification, you will expand your career opportunities to any organizations that support agile practices. So actually, there's a lot of offer you will receive when you are certified. Always update your LinkedIn account for more job opportunities. And then scrum.org is the official provider of PSM exam. So I'll just walk through you first to the study materials I use. So when I took the exam last year, Feb 2020, the Scrum Guide I use is still the previous one, the 2017 version. But there is a new version released last year on the month of November. And at the same time, its creator celebrated 25 years of Scrum. So I'll just put the link in the description down below for all the study materials I use. Then, what's inside the Scrum Guide? So, Scrum Guide contains the definition of Scrum. So, for 2020 version, it is now only 13 pages. And then, the next study material I use is the Scrum Open Assessment. So, the assessment consists of 30 questions with a time limit of 30 minutes. And then the third is the Scrum Quizzes by Mikael Lapshin. So it contains 80 plus questions. And then the fourth one is the Practice Assessment by Simon Nipsey. So it contains 40 questions, time limit of 30 minutes, and passing score is 85%. Actually, there's a lot of practice assessment you can search in the internet. So each practice exam will teach you a little more. And then, before I discuss the tips for passing the exam, let's talk about first the PSM1 exam. So once you pass the exam, you will earn a downloadable badge and certificate. So as you can see in the right side of the screen, so you can add your badge in email signature and you can link your certificate to your LinkedIn account for more job opportunities. So how much is the fee for one attempt of PSM1 assessment? So it costs $150 or 7,298.83 in Philippine Peso. It's a bit expensive, so pricey, so you have to review well. So what language used in PSM1 exam? So please note that all scrum.org assessments are in the English language only. So no other language available. And then the time limit is 60 minutes and number of questions is 80. So meaning you have to answer the question in less than a minute. And then the passing score is 85%, meaning you must have at least 68 correct answers to pass the exam. 
So it's a bit difficult to pass. So you really have to prepare for the exam. So on the next slide, I will give you tips on how to pass the exam. So tips for passing professional Scrum Master exam. I think 15 to 30 days preparation for the exam is already enough. So first is you have to read the Scrum Guide a few times. So five times ideally or until you understand well enough. So in my experience, I read the Scrum Guide every day until the day I took the exam. And then next is watch videos on about Scrum. You can check my playlist, Scrum 101, from lesson one to lesson four, to give you good understanding if you don't have much experience. So in my videos, I cite example for each topic. And then next, take the open assessments available at scrum.org until you get 100% scores in all of the tests. So you have to try and try until you score 100% consistently. And then take also the product owner open assessment for you to prepare resolve complex questions that might come up during the exam. And then the fourth one is the take the open assessment by Mikael Lapshin until you score between 95% to 100%. So it's really a good question and really good help because it's completely free. So next, I'll give you tips during the exam. So top tips for sitting the exam. So first, you need to have a stable internet connection. So the exam is on online, so make sure that you have a stable internet connection. Then next is choose a peaceful time slot. The more relaxed you are with the least amount of disruptions will result in better exam scores. So find the best time for yourself. And then next is read questions carefully because many multiple choice questions seem similar when you read them too quickly. And then next is be Beware of word tricks. Some very common tricks used in the exam learn to differentiate between the two. Should versus could and attend versus participate. Then next is use a timer when doing your practice exams. So this will ensure you are able to answer all the questions within the limited amount of time. And then next Mark the confusing question. So if the question is really hard, uh, skip the question and to save time and energy and attempt them later on. Then next is decide on one reliable resource for help. So either it's your own notes or a reliable scram guide because searching the internet to find the right answer might consume all your time. So better to have your own notes before taking the exam. So that's all for this video. Thank you. I hope that by following these tips, help you to pass the exam. And do not beat yourself up if you need more than one attempt to pass the exam. So bye. Good luck on your exam. Don't forget to pray before taking the exam. God bless. Shout out to my currently handled team, Team Dito. Hello. If you have any questions or topic you want me to discuss, just comment down below. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you on my next video. Bye.